Manitowoc SMS050A. Never worked on one of these before. Complaint is making uh, thin ice or ice cubes aren't fully formed. Let's uh, turn it on and see what happens. All right, only thing I've done so far is I've plugged it in, connected the water. So I think we're just gonna try, see what happens if I hit the power button. I'm gonna pull up the sequence of operations, make sure this thing's working correctly. It's fairly clean, which is nice. So we're in freeze. Something I'm noticing is constant dripping out of the uh, drain. So we're gonna have to figure out where this water is escaping. It might be in that drain hose somewhere. I'm gonna open it up and see. Actually, it's right here on the back wall. I don't know if you can see it, but there's a little bit of there's a stream going down right Right there, on the wall, right there. Let's see if I can fix that. So, still in freeze, we're basically out of water, but we still have a long way to go inside our freeze cycle. So I decided I was just gonna start disassembling it. I took out some pieces up in this area. It's all kind of just pull on it, it comes apart, as you go, my suspicion is that these need to be cleaned out, these jets. So I'm gonna pull this out and clean that, put it back together, see if it fixes the issue. So I took these parts out right here and inside here, there are these little, I guess you call them jets. There's a little bit of scale buildup. You gotta make sure you clean those off. I'm gonna see if this, you know, before I put the little flappers in there see what this looks like when it starts spraying and that's just water filling up here's a shot of what it should like look like when it's spraying I had to take all of these off and clean scale out of the inside of that jet and then once you put it back in it starts spraying like it should and hopefully that'll keep water from ro running down my back wall so I got it into free cycle now. This thing is uh, getting nice and cold. And let me see if you can see the way my little nozzles are spraying. That's more like what it should be doing where before it was just kind of squirting all kinds of different directions. Let's not forget to check your condenser because that is ridiculously clogged. You know it's bad when you can just pull it out in a sheet. Look at that. Where'd that come from? Uh, I don't know. Some guy came by and dropped it off. 45 minutes later, we just went into harvest. My lines are gonna start heating up. That's my water flow. I think it's a little low. Let's see what our cubes look like. That's pretty good. You could probably even thicken that up a little bit if you wanted to. So we went ahead and just dropped another batch of ice. Still taking about 35, 40 minutes per cycle. Kind of crazy. So that was a Manitowoc SMS 50 or SM50, uh, just needed a quick cleaning. We're probably gonna replace the water inlet valve because that water flow is really slow. I checked the water filter, water filter wasn't clogged. Uh, water pressure going in the machine was probably like 70, 80 PSI. So the only restriction I can come up with is that water inlet valve's not opening fully or maybe there's something inside of it that's restricting the water flow. We're gonna go ahead and swap that out, clean it up really well, and that uh, little Mantuoc ice machine is gonna be good to go. Thank you all for watching, and we'll see you on the next one.